Hey all, it's Lawrence from Express Unity, and I decided to actually do a double upload today. Um, I just kind of really wanted to show you guys how we can make our own customized uh, sync transform uh, for Playfab, uh, so that we can smooth out our player movement and it will all be ready for our next tutorial. So, uh, basically, uh, let's go ahead in scripts and networking. And I'm going to create a new script and I'm going to name it um, I don't know. I'll name it super sync <laughs> so let's just wait for it to load open it up opening there it is all right so we want to be using photon and we want to be using photon dot pun we are then going to be using mono behavior pun and we want a few public variables the first public we want is a vector 3 and this is going to be our object position next one is a a quaternion and this is going to be object rotation. And next we want to sync our scale. So this is again going to be a public vector 3. And we'll just call it object scale. Next we want our lerp speed. So public float uh, lerp speed. Make this equal to 3. And then... Um... We want a function, so let's um, let's create a new private void and we'll call it update transform. And oh, we also want to make sure that it's an observable object. So, shall we get the observable component um or inheritance uh, rather? And let's just make it generate uh, the unserialized view. And then we will do if stream dot is writing or else if stream dot is reading. Okay. So on uh, the first line, we want to do stream dot send next, and we want to send the current game object the transform dot position, and we basically want to do this for rotation and scale as well. So we then want to send the rotation and then we want to send local scale like so now on is reading we want to call we want to say uh, object position is equal to and we want to make sure we convert the current stream that received next to a vector 3 um, so remember that the way this works it's basically layered right so the first send that you do, the first stream send next that you do will be the first to receive. So if I want to get the position, I want to convert the stream that received next to vector three on the first line. If I want to get the rotation, we do the same thing, but it will be the second line. I don't want to get the rotation in the first line and then the position in the second line because you're going to end up having an error saying something like, um, Quaternium can't be uh, converted to vector 3 or something like that. Um, so that is because it passes these the, this information in order. So the order that you set it in here is the order that you receive it down here. So the next we want is our object rotation. And we're going to cast it as a quaternium stream that receive next. And the next is our object scale. And this is again a vector three. Cool. Okay, so now <clears throat> in our up here, I'm just trying to think. I think I might just make it nicer. I'll just put it down here. So now we basically want to lerp everything. So the first thing we want to lerp is game object the transform dot position equals vector three dot lerp. 
and we want to learn from the current game object to transform the position to object position and we are just going to say lerp speed times time dot delta time we're then gonna do the same for rotation um, except we're gonna quotanium dot lerp and we're gonna say the same thing except for rotation and object rotation and again lerp speed times time dot delta time and the last one is our scale so local scale equals vector free dot lerp game object dot transform dot position uh, dot local scale sorry and then object scale and then lerp speed times time dot delta time alrighty so now in our update we want to say if photon view uh, dot is mine so rather if it's not mine then we want to update our transform so if the current view isn't ours we will basically do all of this on every other player so this will ensure that we synchronize their position and we are lerping it so this should give us a much smoother result so if we go ahead and on our resources we have our player let's just wait for it to compile no errors good so we no longer want the photon transform view instead we want to get our super sync that we just made what happened there it is super sync we want to then have it as an observe component and lerp speed let's keep it at three for now so let's save that and that should be it i believe we should be able to just build um and it should now be a smoother result um and then of course now we have this control to con uh, the this variable sorry to control how fast it is so if we have no lerp at all it should snap to the position every time it receives data um whereas if it has lerp it should smoothly transition from one position to the next uh every time it receives new uh, uh data so let's just log in let's give it a shot We'll move back and then if we join it should be a smoother result there it is awesome so you'll see that I when this player here if I move and stop you'll actually see that I actually stop before the other players and that is because it's lurping um, but doing it like this will also mean that regardless of if your player is lagging or not, this will allow players to still shoot each other because it's always going to be loping at a set rate. You're not going to see anyone skipping across the map using this using this method. Um, so yeah, that's um that's basically it. We now have we're now successfully loping. Let's try it on this. Uh, yeah, we'll try it on this one as well. There we are, we're now successfully lerping, we can move back, forth, left, right, and the player position is now smooth as butter. Um, so that's it for this one. Um, I don't usually do a double upload, but I really wanted to just prepare us for our next uh, main episode. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching this episode. If you liked it, please subscribe, and remember, uh, I do have a Discord server, so if you need any extra help, just go ahead and join the Discord server and, and throw me a message. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.